yep, James Houston. Life. Is he overrated? Do, do we underrate his abilities and expectations for when he comes back? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens when James Houston comes back. You know, hopefully it's as soon as December starts. Hopefully it's right there and he's ready to go. Hopefully it's before that. But we still don't know an actual date or an actual time of when James Houston will be able to get in here and start making some things happen. Obviously he is a weapon to have out there, but he himself still isn't a complete defensive end. Like he, he is not – a, a complete piece. He he struggles in the run game, and so we'll we'll see what happens. But it'll definitely be a boost to the Lions when he does come back this year. Hopefully, he comes back this year, and he will definitely take some of that pressure off of Aiden Hutchinson and be able to use his ability to get to the pass passer in a, in a very very you know timely fashion. It's when the Lions are going to hope. Hopefully, him and Chauncey Gardner Johnson come back for the playoff push for different things like that. But. I don't know, man. It, I'm still nervous. Yeah, I think um, I think James was was real, and I feel like I got a little bit of confirmation of that. Come and, and I get it's preseason, but it, the last preseason game against the Carolina Panthers, James was back there. Like, like James was getting dirty, and I think I don't know if he's a guy you necessarily want to double team, but I know he'll be single blocked every single time that Aiden Hutchinson is out there. And, and thank God, Aiden Hutchinson is such a, a go hard and, and a beast phenomenal talent that he's doubled every single play matter of fact did you catch the block on yeah. him <laughs> he got yeah he got he got blowed for sure and it, i mean i don't know if that's an offensive scheme or or just happened to be that way but um aiden's gonna see a lot of double teams and that's one of the reasons we want somebody who could for sure beat a, a single matchup off the edge against these opposing quarterbacks because we we've seen this baltimore ravens team go down to the likes of a Pittsburgh Steelers. Even though some people look at Pittsburgh a lot lesser than Detroit Lions, they have two elite uh, edge rushers to help them get the job done. Um, I'm even looking at, uh, I, I get the KC Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes, and I would not de- deny the fact that he kind of carried them to that Super Bowl, but Chris Jones is a big part of it. Uh, obviously, once he was inserted into this defensive lineup for this Kansas City Chiefs, they're way better with Chris Jones than they ever were without. Mm-hmm. It's not even like an arguable. I mean, that, that's a guy who moves all around too, and he creates separate one-on-one matchups for guys like Frank Clark that people have or higher up on. But obviously, he kind of struggled to find a job there for a minute too. But I, I think James can bring it to you. I, I think one of the reasons I like the prospect of a you know Chase Young or Montez, I think those are also guys that have the capabilities of moving around. But now that I even say that out loud, James moves around too. Yeah. Matter of fact, that that Sam position is you know that's where. Jack Campbell got moved to because of his versatility to, to drop back into coverage as well as rush the pass versatility. Yeah. And, and so I, I guess like I maybe I did overlook that. Because look at the Detroit Lions pass rush. And I, I know we have that as its own separate topic, but they, they kind of go hand in hand, so maybe I'll mesh them here. But they aren't far off from like the elite edge rushing teams of the league. I mean, the Steelers in the name I mentioned, I, I think in my personal opinion, probably the, the best in terms of like pairing. We're only one sack off of them. Yeah. You know, they, they got 23. We're sitting at 22. Uh, the league lead is the, the Ravens. Now, they got that the two-man game going, but they also have an interior guy, which is, like, the main focus I wanted, Jalen Carter yeah. and, uh, and Justin Murabuke. And then they have Jadavion Clowney on the side. Plus, they're, they're blitzing from all over, though, too. Mm-hmm. All those sacks aren't coming from, from the interior, but I think James would, would, would bring us something. <laughs>